Hello everybody, I'm back, and today I've got the Armiton Japalura 3-inch frame in silver. And I purchased this frame because I'm tired of breaking the other frames that I had. And this is the frame um, that I had. So now I have the Japalura. And I just wanted to show you guys pretty much what was in the box, uh, in the bag. I uh, don't remember if both of these straps came in the bag. I'm pretty sure they did, but I ended up with two, two straps in the box um, somehow. Whether it comes with the in the bag or not, I ended up with two straps regardless. But uh, here we go. This is a much beefier frame than this one I was using. Um, plus, it's a little bit bigger motor to motor. So the Japler is like 138 millimeters. This one is like 127, something like that, 128, somewhere in there. But it doesn't matter. But if you look at how much thicker this is. I mean, yeah, it weighs more. It's 51 grams compared to, to, to 30 grams. But this Japalura, just the, the look of the carbon fiber is completely different. The, everything's just different about it. And um, at least I have the warranty this time. If something breaks, I can get it warrantied out. Uh, so anyway, here's the beta, bottom plate of the Japalura. It does 20 millimeter and 30 millimeter mounting holes. And it should work with these 1407s that I have. This supposedly supposed to work with 1407s. And it looks to me like, yes, it will work with the 1407s. Um, so that should be okay. I shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, you've got the main plate. you got your uh, antenna mount, and this is apparently for SMA mounts. I don't have that type of antenna on this. I have an Axi uh, Micro on here. Luminaire Max uh, Axi Micro, and uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna mount that in this or on this quad somewhere. Uh, anyway, you got all these screws here. You got some washers. You got some standoffs and uh, nuts. And then you have a little dog bone piece of carbon fiber that goes across the top plates, top side plates, and then the uh, looks like little landing pad things is supposed to be to go on the bottom. Has your square plate goes on the top of these, and you have another foam pad that goes on top of the square. And uh, there's your screws, there's that, there's this, and then here's your aluminum pieces that go onto your onto your side plates, onto your side panels. These just go on here and you screw them on. Uh, you have to do opposites, so it'd be left and a right. So this one would be. Oh, come on. This one would be like this. I should have taken these out of the bag, but I, they're sealed up. Um, the carbon fiber goes to the outside, the aluminum goes to the inside, but they they just screw right on there with six bolts. And uh, the two straps, I don't I don't recall actually having the two straps in the bag, but they were two two straps ended ended up getting anyway. Um, and it comes with the instruction sheet, which is pretty easy to follow. And you just look at it it's got all your screws that you need for each step and these are these pictures are to scale so if you don't know exactly what size you got you can just put it up against this and it'll tell you what size you have uh, it comes with some standoffs um, not like a whole it only comes with four standoffs so that would be like your initial mounting standoffs it wouldn't come with enough to do a whole stack so you'd have to have more standoffs but uh, Shows you how to put the sides together, how to put the sides on the base, on the base plate, how all that stuff and all that, you know, up here is the main plate and your mount, and then you have your dog bone that goes on there. Pretty easy frame, pretty easy looking frame. The only concern you'd have is uh, trying to figure out how you're going to make everything fit in there, depending on what you have. Now, I have a 20 by 20 stack, so I'm going to be using the 20 by 20 holes. It shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I'm only using uh, five millimeter standoffs, spacers. And we'll screw all the way through, so that should not be a problem. Uh, this is supposed to handle up to a 28 millimeter high stack, and I'm using 25 millimeter screws on this stack, and it's still got room, and I should have enough room for my receiver up in there. So that should not be a problem. And uh, those 1407 motors should fit on here because that's what it says it can. It can, says it can fit the 1407s, and when I measured it, it looked like it would fit with no problem. If not, I have to get different motors. But anyway, everything's here, and plus the warranty. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. I do have a Runcam Swift Micro 2 
and it's a 19 millimeter mount and this is a 28 millimeter camera mounts system so i got in addition to this these little mounts here that are to convert your 19 millimeter camera for run cams into a 28 millimeter mount so we'll see how that works out as well that shouldn't have shouldn't have any problems mounting those in there so anyway armiton is going to be my go-to from now on because i'm tired of breaking frames and just minor crashes i mean for god's sake this frame i figured it would take more beating than a toy and i got some toy grade stuff that has taken a heck of a lot more of a beating than this th that thing has so we're going to see how this armiton performs um hopefully i don't crash it because that's not something everybody wants but it's part of the hobby it's inevitable and we'll see what happens if i do crash it and see what kind of uh impacts this can take I'm not going to do it intentionally because I can't afford to keep buying these things. Armiton, you're my go-to now for frames just because you have the lifetime warranty on most everything you have. And uh, we're going to do this build. I'll swap everything out of that other frame and put it on this Japalura 3-inch. And we'll see how it works. Um, so there you go. Armiton Japalura frame. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, like, dislike, and uh, leave a comment if you want. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.